a major title change at Backlash. I'm Matt Carlins, and this is Just Pro Wrestling News for Monday, May 9th, 2022. A big welcome to those of you listening on WrestleMap.com. You can bring our updates to your website. Find out how at JustProWrestlingNews.com. WWE. Ronda Rousey is the new SmackDown Women's Champion. She won the title by forcing Charlotte Flair to say, I quit at WrestleMania Backlash last night. After the match, WWE announced that Flair has a broken bone in her arm, courtesy of Rousey. Edge beat AJ Styles last night and added a new member to his Judgment Day faction. A masked individual cost Styles the match and then revealed themselves to be Rhea Ripley. The main event saw Roman Reigns and the Usos beat Drew McIntyre and RK Bro. Reigns pinned Riddle with a spear. Cody Rhodes beat Seth Rollins, grabbing Rollins' tights during a roll-up after Rollins tried to do the same. Also, Amos beat Bobby Lashley, and Madcap Moss got a roll-up win over Happy Corbin. WWE's next big event is Hell in a Cell on Sunday, June 5th. On Friday, SmackDown, Shayna Baszler rolled up and pinned one half of the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Sasha Banks, thanks to some timely outside interference by Natalya. Sheamus and Rich Holland won a tables match over Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods after the previously missing Butch reappeared and got involved. Sami Zayn got a countout win over Shinsuke Nakamura, and Gunther beat Drew Gulak. Impact Wrestling The Briscoes are the new Impact Tag Team Champions. They took the titles from Violent by Design's Eric Young and Diener at Saturday night's Under Siege special. Taya Valkyrie pinned Deanna Perrazzo with a roll-up to retain the AAA Reina de Reinas Championship. After the match, Mia Yim appeared to confront Perrazzo. Sammy Callahan also returned to Impact on the show, and he attacked Moose. Josh Alexander beat New Japan's Tomohiro Ishii in the main event to hold on to the Impact World title. Ace Austin beat Trey Miguel to retain the X Division title. Tasha Steeles is still Knockouts champ after a win over Havoc. Giselle Shaw beat one half of the Knockouts Tag Team Champions, Madison Rain. Chris Sabin pinned Steve Macklin with the Cradle Shock, and Honor No More won a 10-man tag over Bullet Club. On the Countdown to Under Siege pre-show, Rich Swan pinned Laredo Kid to win a three-way that also included Speedball Mike Bailey, and Heath and Rhino beat Raj Singh and Shira. Willie Mack and Jonah have both left Impact Wrestling after their contracts expired. AEW Former Ring of Honor TV champion Tony Deppin makes his AEW debut on tonight's Dark Elevation. He's facing John Silver. Also on the show, Abaddon vs. Emi Sakura, Sunny Kiss vs. Pretty Peter Avalon, and Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland vs. QT Marshall and Nick Camarado. The final qualifying match for the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament went down on Friday's Rampage. Riho is in after a win over Yuka Sakazaki. Four other women in the tournament met in a tag team match. Tony Storm and Ruby Soho beat Dr. Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter. Storm rolled up Baker for the pin. Also on the show, Jay Lethal beat DDT Pro's Kanosuke Takeshita and Hook beat JD Drake. Scorpio Sky agreed to defend his TNT Championship against Frankie Kazarian on next Friday's Rampage. Stu Grayson's contract with AEW has expired and he is no longer working for the company. New Japan's Will Ospreay will make his GCW debut against Nick Wayne at a show in Providence, Rhode Island on June 19th. We have the first matches announced for the NWA's Always Ready pay-per-view coming up on June 11th. Tyrus will defend the NWA TV title against Mims, and Chris Adonis will challenge Jax Dane for the national title. That's just Pro Wrestling News for Monday, May 9th. Be sure to subscribe to this feed so you don't miss our next update. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.